Let's examine this 18th century book in an 18th century period binding with marbled paper covered boards, leather spine with yeah, the typical sort of uh, hand done lettering, slightly uneven and so on, almost folk artish in appearance. It is in fact a bound volume of a monthly periodical. Uh, there are nine plates within it. There's a description of Washington DC as well within it. This is here, we see the title page, London 17, uh, 93. Engraved front is here, uh, allegorical. Yeah, the range of topics is very broad and interesting. Medicine, philosophy, geography, astronomy, history, antiquities, travels, and so on. Uh, and so this is how it looks inside. Everything is in two columns like this. Uh, it does uh, is lacking some plates uh, according to the list of plates at the rear, which is typical for periodicals of this date. In fact, is actually somewhat common for books of this date, uh, but especially periodicals. It does, though, however, contain this uh, English county map here, uh, like so, of Norfolk. And we'll go through the rest of the book. You'll notice I'm actually leaning it on the table so the front cover is not dangling in midair. That is always a very bad thing to do with antiquarian books. You never want to leave the front cover dangling. Uh, and there is a uh, country house, a British country house. And here we encounter uh, Northamptonshire, another English county map engraved, copper engraved like so, with, for instance, a facing description like this. Here's an essay on natural beauty. Here's a meteorological journal for the month of August, day by day. Uh, the weather, the wind, and so on. Here are the proceedings of the Parliament of Great Britain. And that just gives you just a touch or a taste of the a sampling of the contents, the range. There's letters. Uh, and like I say, there was the description of Washington, D.C. Uh, earlier on. And I'm sure that there is other North American content to be found within. Here is a view of a bridge in Switzerland. Uh, this is an account of glaciers and fields of ice in the Alps, right there, and so on, and so it goes. Well, look here, here is a third uh, English county map, Northumberland, and we'll continue on like this. And here is this cataract in Switzerland, and here is yet another one, a fourth engraved county map, Nottinghamshire. And like this. Now yeah, look, here's a fifth one, Oxfordshire. So there are five uh, engravings, uh, five county maps rather. And uh, here is prices of stocks. And at the rear is an index to the entire volume that's alphabetical and very detailed. Here is the list of plates. And that's how it survives. There is, uh, the joints are cracked, but the boards are still firmly attached by the binding cords. And this book is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.